Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Mage Night. It is the second turn of night, and we are doing all right here. We've got a bit of a problem for good old Dwarf Face. He's got to get all the way around here. He does have this monsters here. He can fight two of these to get all the crystals. Let's have a look at what he's got here. He's got a move, an attack block. He's got a heal in hand. But unfortunately, look at the mana draw. It's like absolutely terrible. All reds. We can populate this thing here, which is attack four. And this is a custom Mage Knight, by the way, if you're wondering why he's so powerful. <laughs> but for every wound he gets, it increases the attack by one. So he's attacking for four. If he takes, uh, he can take up to four wounds without being knocked out. So if he takes four wounds in hand, it's actually attack eight. So it's actually a pretty powerful attack. Hmm. So I think He's just going to attack the... Uh, he's got to move two in and then attack these. Oh, wait, no, he's on one, isn't he? Yeah, so he's just going to attack these guys. Bam. What you got for us? Oh, God. Okay, so this guy's got Brutal and this guy's got Poison. So Brutal, that's what that skull is. That just means that he takes double damage. So this is three attack and we have three armor, which means we take one wound but because it's brutal we take two wounds and this guy same deal we take one wound but because it's poison we also take another wound into our discard pile not cool thing is he has five ten armor between them so we have to produce ten attack and that is where we're in a bit of a problem so we can definitely produce four five six seven Eight, nine, ten. So we can produce ten a cack, but we also so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten attack, but we don't have any blocking, so that's no good. So what have we got for blocking? Remember, every if we block this one. That's three block. We take two wounds, which means we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attack. And then we can do this for 10 attack, but we, uh, then we don't have a heal. So if we don't block with this, what else have we got here? Is there anything? They're all interactives. No, we can't really do anything. If we don't block these guys, we end up with another one in hand and one into the discard pile. This ends up in hand. This will be in hand, and this will be in hand. Because then we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. I think we're going to do this because after the heal, we end up with. After the heal, we end up with one card, one wound only, and one wound in here. So that's actually double the, it's actually the same amount of wounds, but one of them is out of our hand. I actually think that's what we're gonna do. It seems counterintuitive to let the wound go through because the thing is, if we if we do block it, so we block, if we block the, uh, if we block the wound, this one's gone and this one's gone. We're going four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're one attack short and we have to get rid of this to finish the attack. We don't have one here. We're basically saving ourselves. You know, see, the thing is, what if we don't get a green crystal? Ah, oh, we are going to get a green crystal. 
Yeah, so I'm definitely going to do this. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. And let's just see what this wound button does. Yeah, that, that puts one into, the, into both piles. Excellent. So yeah, I'm going to do this because we're going to get a green crystal so then I can heal two next turn. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So we're attacking. We're letting the block go through. We get two wounds via Brutal and we get one wound into our discard pile and another wound via Poison. And then we attack back for four, five, six, seven from the wounds, eight, nine, ten, and we get plus one fame. Okay, so that's the end of that. And turn. Uh, I need plus one fame. There he is. And I get one of every color type. Nice. New skill token, new advanced action token. So what are we going to get for our skill token? We have got a heal. We can flip this card to gain one heal or pay a green mana with it to get two heal. And you may flip the card back as an action for the turn. We've got the Dwarven Craft. This is the most ridiculous skill. Whoever made this uh, Mage Knight, I just, I can't bring myself to ever use this. In my version of the mod, I've actually rewritten this skill to make it a lot less powerful. But basically, once you get this skill, you can just basically create sometimes two artifacts every single uh, day cycle, every single cycle. It's just uh, ridiculous. Maybe I'll just take this uh, Swordsman, just plus two attack at any time. I do love healing spells because you've seen that I take a lot of damage. I'm going to go for the plus two attack. And we're going to take Swift Bolt. And that's about that. That's, uh, rewards claimed. Okay, it is now Norwen's go. Oh, God, I've got to, I've got to uh, jump into the black. I've got to get into the black... Uh, seat with this uh, mod. There we are. Right. So he is here. So we've got one, two, and then explore. What have we got? We have no move still. We still have no... I'm just going to do this and take a white. Give myself a white crystal just to start. And I think I'm just going to go bam and get two move, which takes me to here. I'll we'll just end my turn there. Oh, wait, it's not his turn. It's Athena's turn. Oh, God. So <laughs> I just can never, I can never read that text block correctly. Okay, it's her turn. Where is she? All right, she wants to go attack this thing, so we need three to get in there, right? We do have this awesome spell, and this spell gives us ignore sight fortifications this round. So the way this works is discard a card of any color, use the basic effect of a spell of the same color, so you have to discard this. So that gives us ignore site fortifications and it's enemies get minus one armor and we need three move one two three so because we're ignoring site fortifications we actually have one two three four five ranged attack so i think that's pretty good let's uh, let's do it oh wait we need three to move in have i done that one two three to move okay so we just go your blammo. Okay, so this guy has got swift. That is eight to block, so that's getting through. So let's get two wounds. And, oh, this is perfect. So we just go bam and bam. That gives us three attack and his armor is minus one because of demolish. So he is dead. That's the end of that. In turn. And claim rewards. Bam. 
Okay, so we still have two wounds. Now it's her, his turn, and there is no <laughs> there's no uh, white dice now. So we're still going to do move two to move into here. And, oh man, it's just so annoying. One time this night before any of your turns, you may shuffle up to five cards, including wounds from your hand, back into your D deck, and then draw that many cards. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to shuffle everything back into here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So. I'm going to one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, and there's another dungeon. Okay. Let's end that turn. Now Wolfhawk's turn. Okay, so she is on a dungeon. We have chill, enemy does not attack this combat. And we have this thing here. And we've got tranquility and we've got no green again. And we've got no blue. Wow, the, the mana pool is an absolute mess right now. I'm just gonna heal one. And turn and claim rewards. Okay, it's uh, the Dwarf's turn again. We still have no mana, but he does have the green crystal. So he's going to heal for two. And he's also going to move for two into there. the hell just happened then? There we are. It's, it's supposed to flip up. Oh, gee. Well, we're not fighting that guy. <laughs> not going into that site. But we are finishing our turn there. And turn. It is the witch's turn. What is she going to do? Well, I guess she's going to explore. So I'm going to do crystallize. I'm going to do, oh wait, I'm going to do, first I'm going to do a mana search. So we roll the two yellows. Uh, I'm just going to do it using this little thing I set up here. So I'll just go to two yellows. It stays yellow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable luck. That's just unbelievable. So they stay gold. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go mana pool four. We're gonna set that to white and this to green. Gonna go four and we're gonna go white. So we did mana pool, we set it to green and white, we get a green and white crystal, we do move four, and we do crystallize to get another white token. One, two. Ooh. That's four, that means we've got another two, four, five, six. I'm gonna get rid of this one. 
That means I get rid of this one. And that. Okay, so this is what we're doing. I did a move for four, five, six, seven move. That gives me explore for two and then five to move into the healing glade. And I paid for mana pool with my thing here. Okay, so that's the end of that turn. Move one wound. God, we're already out of cards. May as well finish the turn. So now it's Norwez's turn. We need one, two, three, four. We do have a green now, so we're going to go four. One, two, three, four. Wolf Hawk's turn. Hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, man, we only got four. Oh, dear. It's really terrible, isn't it? Uh, let's just attack, see what happens. Bam. Monster drawn. Oh, my God. It's got uh, arcane resistance, and it's got six to attack. Okay, we can do this. So that is four attack, four, five, six attack. And this is four attack from the howl plus five, six. So that is producing six block. Such a crazy ability. So basically this card means that when we stick it on its side, it creates four and then we get plus one for each empty space. That is four, five, six. So that's six block and six attack. This guy is dead. Boom. So let's gain the conquest reward. We get a artifact. Okay, this is a banner, so we don't want that sort of justice it is. That's another plus for our uh, sideways cards. Not a particularly good card for her, but whatever. It's better than nothing. We also get a new skill token and an advanced action token. So what have we got here? Oh, we're going to take the heal and the, and, the, and the crystal generation. And we're also going to take uh, the firebolt. Okay. And that, my friends, is the end of two rounds. You know, she might just park there. Do some mega healing. Basically, her turn, her next turn, this is all she's got for next turn. So she can get a, a five move. One, two, three, four. Mm. So it's five move to there. So I think she might just stay there and then she can start next turn with a start next turn with a heal or whatever. Okie dokie. So that is the end of that. It's been a really rough uh, turn with the mana. It's really rough with the basically all dead mana for the whole turn. Well, that's that, and I will see you guys next time.